This is a person who lived among us, who worked among us, and these artifacts really are, are telling a story of, about somebody who had a very rich life. From the onset in conceiving this exhibition, it was very important that we not only present Chuck Ramirez as an artist who used photography to sort of deliver his message, but also to explore the way in which Chuck's art fused with his life, his biography, his life story, his sense of community, and his importance in the community. What's so exciting about Chuck is that he touches on themes, he touches on experiences that are very relevant today. And he was bold enough to call out his many identities, whether it was his HIV positive status, or his Mexican American heritage, or the fact that he was just consciously in dialogue with his own mortality. And he's given us as an artist so many points of entry into this exhibition, so many personal ways of joining his narrative. As you really encounter Chuck's story and you move through what we term as the four chapters of the exhibition, you start to see that there's a lot of depth, a lot of um, kind of darkness, there's a lot of symbolism and a lot of metaphor. And by the end of your experience, you really kind of see there's many dimensions to this one artist. When Chuck visited his grandmother in the hospital, he would pass by rooms that had been vacated. Either the patient went home or maybe they died. And there would be these flower arrangements left over in the rooms. On first glance, they seem to be these beautiful arrangements of flowers. Um, and then when you start to really look closely at the flowers, you see they're sort of wilted. They're starting to sort of, the ribbons are kind of tattered. And they're really emblematic and symbolic of physical beauty often can just kind of transform and these flowers become the stand-in for this kind of really much deeper, bigger issue. Most of his work are portraits, where they're not literal portraits and that I'm not, he's not photographing the person, but there are somehow they're portrait-like or, or portraits of a personality. From the very beginning of conceiving the exhibition, I wanted to include this replication of Chuck's 2002 Art Pace residency. This presentation is images primarily of food and also food packaging. So thinking about these particular images and where Chuck came from, you can see how he's like Andy Warhol, his hero. He brought kind of everyday life into the world of the museum, into the world of the gallery, into the world of art. The Magnaeus is uh, constantly rethinking our place in the community, our place in the, in the bigger art world. And one of the sort of aspects of that is really thinking of ourselves more and more as a community center where the community can come and partake and feel safe. We have in our exhibition four moments where people can actually interact and really become part of the exhibition. And one of those moments is based on Chuck Ramirez's prayer cards where um, the visitor can think about the idea of survival and about the idea, idea of mortality. Because Chuck made those prayer cards thinking about his own mortality, being HIV positive, being a survivor of many years. And so in a sense, we're creating a small shrine on the wall that both um, that honors Chuck, but also gives the visitor and the viewer an, a, an a, a opportunity to participate. I've met members of the community who have a very emotional connection to this artist. And going through the exhibition with them is as if Chuck Ramirez is still with us. His presence is felt throughout and his works continue to matter. And they truly resonate with us today. One of the kind of joyful moments was at the opening of the exhibition when so many of Chuck's friends and family and uh, associates and artists, people he had worked with, people he knew, got to see him honored in a whole new way, got to see the work in a whole new way. And you know, this is their friend who's now on the walls of a museum. And I think it was an important moment for the community because it brought a lot of community energy together. And in fact, you could sense Chuck's spirit here that evening. And it was a very emotional moment for a lot of people. Within the San Antonio community, within South Texas, within Texas, there are uh, phenomenal artists who are, who are making this amazing work and it needs to be seen by a wider audience. 
When we think about our community, we think about reminding them that this is a welcoming center. It's a safe place to be inspired by beauty. We're in the business of beauty here at the McNay, and we're committed to bringing beauty to everyone. And for that reason, whether he was local or based anywhere else in the world, this is the right show for the McNay, for our community, and for this very sensitive moment that we're all going through together.